Good day folks and camera companies please stop using the word equivalence I'm not joking Well, good morning guys and uh, yeah it's a little bit unusual that uh, I'm out and about without my hat only because uh, it's super windy this morning and yeah I don't want to lose my hat yet again uh, yeah today I want to talk about the word equivalence in fact I really want to stop people using it simply because it doesn't make sense at all let me talk to you a little bit about why I would think that you should not actually use the word equivalence simply because it, need, it didn't matter in the old days why is it such a big thing these days and it really makes uh, people think only one thing now okay I have to kind of stress that again this is not about which format is better if you want to talk about it you know I had my last uh, photography 101 talked about it this is a vlog so it's not a 101 uh, it's not educational I just simply want to have my word saying about the word equivalence um, the reason why I want to stop people thinking is in the old days in the film days um, never people really talk about equivalence uh, you know if they shoot big format cameras they would talk about oh, I mean I shoot this and that you know I have a 64 millimeter lens I have an 85 I have, a, I have a, some whatever 110 150 millimeter lens on the large format camera then they have a uh, uh, 35 millimeters they just say oh I have a 24 to 70 zoom lens 2.8 whatever then they have like something like the 120 oh I have the 75 millimeters 2.8 Xenon uh, then they have one hand cameras having a 50 millimeters 1.8 whatever uh, they never really talk about oh by the way my camera has this 50 millimeters lens equivalent to a uh, 120 and 35 millimeters terms or vice versa so uh, this is kind of weird and I don't know why in the digital age, you know, people just changed everything, you know, now uh, yeah, if you look at all the manufacturers now, they say, oh, our lens is whatever, you know, like Michael Forther, for instance, you know, I have a 7014 2.8, which I'm zooming on right now, it's, it's equivalent to 35 millimeters of 14 to 28 millimeters. Why? Why? Oh, God, I need to sit down to talk about this because my back. It's getting heavy, such an early morning this morning and finishing a shoot and now talking to you guys. Uh, anyway, let's continue the conversation uh, about the word equivalence and I want the manufacturer to stop using that. This is downgrading to your format, especially, you know, like you're producing some great professional grey cameras and, uh, you know, even like medium format stuff. You know, by using like equivalence makes your system sound cheap and then uh, it's just not the way to do it I think you know in the old days film comp uh, in the film days you know the companies don't do that you know and now what you should be doing is a catalog just like the old days you don't need to be printed you just have to have a uh, visual uh, representation of what your lens can do you know like for instance you should have a picture they yeah, showing what a seven millimeters can achieve or like 25 millimeters 75 millimeters or you need to have some pictures showing what you can do and uh, that is better than saying that oh uh, my 25 millimeters is a 35 millimeters full frame equivalent of 50 millimeters you're making 35 millimeters or the full frame as the standard of the photographic industry what is a standard by the way this, 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 there are different formats out there and yes I'm not denying it 35 millimeters is very very popular uh, is probably um, uh, the most popular uh, professional platform at the moment uh, simply because a lot of people are using it but there are other professional platforms that many many professors have been using for decades like medium format 120 even larger formats and of course you know nowadays they've got the smaller format ABS-C there are a lot of professionals using APS-C's and also Michael Four Third, like myself. Uh, I'm not. This is not a debate. You know, I'm not trying to say which one is better. Like I said, you know, there's no better platforms, and there's only perfect platform for what you do, you know, on a daily basis. Uh, 
anyway and uh, so this is what company company comp uh, camera company <laughs> should be doing just to use visual representation and to showcase what you can do with your lenses so from now on i am only going to talk about the lens i'm using and uh, i'm going to say the focal length just uh, whatever is on the lens whether it's going to be a large format medium format you know micro four third or full frame I'm just going to say the focal uh, the focal length out I'm not going to say this is lens is equivalent to whatever if you guys want to know I'm going to put it down in the description so you guys can kind of have an idea and uh, even if you're statistically looking at overall the photographic industry full frame isn't the most popular it's the smartphone smartphone takes way more photos than full frame if you count it by statistics and uh, in fact the focal length on uh, mic uh, on the smartphones all over the place and yeah you, you get the idea so don't make 35 millimeters as the standard you know and uh, it's kind of like making all the people who are into photography thinking that full frame will be their eventual landing spot which i think is bad you know and uh, it, it's not because it's been what you do what you shoot you know there is a perfect tool don't brainwash people about that you know and it's just wrong anyway so this is my vlog and then i want to just have my word saying uh the word equivalent and uh yeah just showcase people please camera manufacturers stop using the word equivalents and even all the reviewers stop doing that you know i'm gonna i'm just gonna stop uh i'm gonna stop here now because i'm super tired after like several days of early early mornings and late nights and uh yeah you can see my eye bags i can't even i can barely open my eyes and uh yeah i've been doing up my house i can see my uh, recent community post uh and also like there's going to be my late uh, new editing suite and also youtube filming base uh i'm super excited about that but still months away by the way because my house is also being extended as well so there'll be a lot a lot of work going on there uh so yeah i won't be able to do that just yet so stay tuned because i have lots and lots of stuff planned for the rest of the year and i hope everything will fall into please that will be very very nice anyway i'm super tired i'm, I'm just about to fall asleep now i'm sitting down uh until next time chuckle chuckle what is chuckle chuckle